Now to a story that's raising questions of free speech. A woman with no criminal history locked up for cussing, forced to miss Christmas with her family. 24 Hour News 8's Ken Kolker in studio with that story. LaRue Ford had hoped to spend Christmas with family in Chicago. Instead, she spent Christmas in the Berrien County Jail. She is still locked up there, has been for eight days. Her offense, profanity in the clerk's office. She said, F this sh Attorneys for the ACLU compare it to a customer's frustration after a long wait at the Secretary of State's office or in the return line at the mall. Like any of us who've had frustrating experiences in a bureaucratic environment, she essentially muttered uh, a swear word to herself. But in this case, it was in the court clerk's office at Berrien District Court in Niles, and it was overheard. Judges are supposed to follow the law. We don't think that necessarily happened here. ACLU attorneys say it started after the 49-year-old woman moved from Arizona to Indiana this fall to get a job as a driver. This is a woman who is, you know, is, has, is a professional. She has a master's in social work. She moved back to this area to find a job so that she could be closer to her family. But Indiana denied her commercial driver's license after finding an unpaid traffic fine in Berrien County. Even after she paid that fine, Indiana kept denying her license. The attorneys say that after going back and forth with court clerks in Niles, a supervisor there finally discovered the mistake, a $50 reinstatement fee that she needed to pay. And that's when she cussed her attorneys say as she was leaving the clerk's office. And she was ordered into court when she returned with the $50. Judge Dennis Wiley charged her with contempt. Imagine that at your job, if somebody mouths off to you, you get to go to your boss, and that person immediately gets to go into custody and spend the holidays in jail right then and there. Just She's been in jail since December 18th after the judge revoked her $5,000 bond. Her attorney says it's because she doesn't have a permanent address yet in Indiana. She very much expected to be with her family during the holidays. Her now, once again, this was in the clerk's office, not in the courtroom, which is why the ACLU says it will ask the judge to immediately re release her from jail and drop the charge. Now, we tried to reach the judge and the clerk's supervisor today, but we're told they would not comment. In fact, we were not allowed to bring our camera into the courthouse.